Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to another episode of Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program, broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88, and I'm Ko Chang with Tao Chit. Today we are going to be diving into Thailand's grand plans to woo the global film industry. The cultural spectacle of the World Wai Kru Muay Thai ceremony and the ongoing musical fiesta in Pattaya City. So get comfy. Our program continues after this. For the advancement of ASEAN as a community, Thailand is not only supporting and promoting digital cooperation, introducing and adopting innovations that improve digital connections in the region. But giving attention to the sustainability of these developments, encouraging a care economy as much as online communication, Thailand is aiding ASEAN to not only prosper but thrive into the future. And kicking things off, Thailand is now setting its sights on a dazzling one billion baht from the global film industry. Just picture this. Thailand's, with its jaw-dropping sceneries, playing host to movie magic from around the globe. Now, Thailand Film Office is pulling out all the stops at Film Art 2024 in Hong Kong, um, showcasing the kingdom as the filmmakers' paradise. They've got an enticing deal on the table, which is a 20% cash rebate for productions that shoot in our country, and with breathtaking locations ranging from serene beaches to ancient ruins. This is like Thailand being ready for its close-up, promising to be the backdrop for the next box office hit. And they're not just targeting anyone. China and Hong Kong are also in their sights, aiming to inject over one billion baht into the local economy. Win a Radio Thailand reward. All you have to do is like FM 88 Radio Thailand English Service and Radio Thailand World Service Facebook pages, and then like and share the pin posts. On TikTok, follow at Radio Thailand World. Repost our pin post and write a comment on why you love the Radio Thailand World TikTok. Winners will be chosen from the comments. Join in while rewards last. And back to our show once again. This is Thailand Outlook. Next up, the 16th annual World Wai Kru Muay Thai ceremony is making a grand return. In Ayutthaya Province, this March 17th, and this is not just any event; it's a profound cultural tradition where Muay Thai fighters from around the globe gather to pay homage to their trainers. Now, the ceremony set against the backdrop of the historical Wat Mahathat in Ayutthaya um, offers a really mesmerizing spectacle of respect and gratitude. But that's not all; the event is a full-blown cultural fest with Muay Thai showcases. Traditional crafts and mouth-watering Thai cuisine, and from the high-energy Muay Tap Jack to the balancing acts of Muay Thai, this is an immersive experience that celebrates the arts of Muay Thai and its rich heritage. Following the success of visa-free policies for visitors from China and Kazakhstan, Thailand is looking to welcome even more travelers. Intends on letting people from across the globe see and enjoy its colorful traditions and awe-inspiring natural attractions. The kingdom's government is working to present easy and convenient entry to more nationalities, bringing even more vibrancy to travel in Thailand. And uh, finally, today we are grooving to the beats of the Pattaya Music Festival 2024. A month-long celebration that is turning the city into a massive concert venue. The festival kicks off with a stellar lineup featuring beloved Thai artists who really transform Pattaya Beach into a live music haven. And beyond the tunes, the festival is a vibrant showcase of Pattaya's culture and gastronomy, with the hundreds of booths offering everything from local delicacies to cool merch. The festivities are also spread out across iconic locations, promising a fresh vibe every week. And this is not just a music festival; this is a testament to Pattaya's lively spirit and its role in promoting tourism and supporting the local economy and the countries in the process. 
And that wraps up our journey today, folks, from cinematic ambitions and cultural tributes to musical celebrations. Thailand is really buzzing with excitement and innovation. It is clear that the hearts of Thailand beats in its creativity, heritage, and the warm welcome it extends to everyone around the world. So uh, whether you are a film buff, a martial arts enthusiast, or a music lover, our country has something special in store for you. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you again on the next episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm Kachang with Top Tips. สวัสดีครับ Part of the push to strengthen Thailand's commerce capabilities is the Land Bridge Mega Project, facilitating the transport of goods and people from Rayong on the Andaman Coast to the Gulf of Thailand via Chum Pon. The bridge has massive potential for the nation and the region. Overcoming current obstacles and introducing new opportunities, Thailand's land bridge is a key national policy. Given these geopolitical factors, ASEAN eventually supports further collaboration between the UK and ASEAN in areas of shared interests. The United Kingdom ranks 12th among ASEAN's commercial partners. And ranks six in terms of foreign direct investment. Tighter connections with the bloc of Southeast Asia will support the creation of green jobs, bolster security cooperation, foster partnerships in research and technology, and protect important international legal foundations, like the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. At the center of the Indo-Pacific is the United Kingdom. An ASEAN dialogue partner. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the UK donated 4.3 million doses of the vaccine to ASEAN members, and contributed approximately 1.2 million US dollars to the COVID-19 ASEAN Response Fund. The UK will continue to work with ASEAN and its members on important shared challenges like maritime security and transnational crime. As well as strengthen cooperation on issues of climate change and COVID-19. The UK's security, diplomatic, and economic ties to Southeast Asia are notable examples of post-Brexit success stories. An important diplomatic win for the UK is its recognition as a dialogue partner by ASEAN. Which could pave the way for increased integration and admittance to regional multilateral institutions. The UK support for the regional COVID-19 recovery and its investment in ASEAN projects and initiatives benefit the region economically and provide the UK with access to a thriving and expanding market. The UK is now recognized as an ASEAN member's preferred and trusted strategic partner as a result. The next step for the UK is to flesh out its relationship with ASEAN through joint projects and diplomatic negotiations. The UK and ASEAN shared several areas of mutual interest, including a respect for multilateralism and internationalism, open order, and a desire to maintain stability in Southeast Asia. In order to maintain its core interests in Asia. The UK must strike a balance between ASEAN and its own interests in security, politics, and economy. The United Kingdom could potentially surmount these challenges by employing soft power tactics and offering genuine financial support for humanitarian and infrastructural initiatives in the region. Many steps have been taken to improve the UK-ASEAN relationship in areas such as financial services. Digitalization, environment and climate change, food security, education, health, peace and security, youth, culture, tourism, and ASEAN connectivity initiatives. Other areas of focus include transnational crime, peacekeeping missions, and women. It is possible for the UK to leverage its present successes to achieve deeper integration of ASEAN. And Southeast Asia. This is contingent upon the area being continuously supplied with diplomatic, financial, and security resources. The funding initiatives, which specifically target the four main areas of economic partnership, 
that ASEAN hopes to further develop with the UK through 21st century appropriate economic cooperation and integration, namely promoting a market integration, sustainability and decarbonization, digital transformation, inclusivity, including MSMEs and public-private partnerships, will be particularly well received by ASEAN.